what's up guys and I look like a fetus right now I don't care we are going to go visit Danny if you didn't catch in my last video she is pregnant and she's due any day now so we're gonna go over there and I'm actually gonna do some barn chores over there so yeah I'm gonna take you guys with me and just give you a quick update on like Danny and how she's doing and what she's looking like cuz I haven't seen her in like I don't know five days five days four or five days so we're gonna go over there right now. This will just be a quick little video so you guys can get an idea what she looks like right now. All right, well anyways, just a little heads up. She is 330 days, I think, right now. But my camera's gonna die, so I'm gonna shut it off. What are you doing? I'm just hanging out. Oh my God, this is terrible lighting. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to get on the other side. Oh, there she is. You're massive. What are you doing? Now the light came on <laughs> just in time. My tail's all wrapped and ready to go whenever. Um, no wax, you can't even tell. It's too dark. Pelvic muscles are pretty loose. Um, yeah, I wish you would just have this thing. She's got like major edema up here. She's so freaking big. It's like you've got to be so uncomfortable not really stocked up. Maybe like a little bit. Not bad. Good lord. Big baby. Yeah, I just brushed her off some of her fur. <laughs> oh, Danny, Danny, Danny. That's what a maiden thoroughbred mare looks like in fall. She's a maiden mare and she's huge. It's a better angle. Oh, she moved. She's like, are you gonna feed me treats? I suppose I will. <sighs> she gets Buckeye All Natural Apple Flavor Treat. Do you not want them? I offered them. Here. That's her feed tub. And she gets a Mare Plus supplement by Farnham. And that's all she gets. And these lids are always so flimsy. I think I break every single one. But yeah, this needs refilled. She's almost out. Her feed's up over in the feed room. So I usually fill this up for them so they can just scoop and dump. <laughs> So I'm back from my adventure of seeing Danny and I'm actually cleaned up now so I don't smell like a horse turd. But I didn't really tell you guys that much about the baby and everything. Um, I think I did mention that she is a maiden mare, but um, she is in full to Bulls Bay. He is a son of Tiz now. I know some of you guys follow racing. I don't know how many of you do. So he is a pennsylvania sire so his baby is pennsylvania bred and sired which is great because there's great breeder rewards and that's what i decided to do because originally she was booked to misremembered and he stands over at hillendale or he did and they ended up moving him to california for the 2017 breeding season so my contract was void after that and it's a good thing i didn't because pennsylvania has developed a great breeders fund for us so I was gonna 
breed her to him and then he left for California. Then I picked out a couple more stallions in Kentucky that I like, but she got approved for Caleb's Posse, he stands over at Three Chimneys, and then she got approved for Hat Trick, who stands over at Gainesway. And Miss Remembered and Hat Trick were probably like really high on my list of horses that I really wanted to breed her to, but I kind of was overbreeding it. Like, these were more impressive stallions than what she really is physically as like a broodmare. So I was like, I know I really like them, but I don't want to do the take her down to Kentucky and full out in Pennsylvania when I can do Pennsylvania sired. So I decided to go with Bulls Bay. He, like I said, is a son of tits now and he stands over at Northview Stallions. Her last cover was April 3rd. So She's due soon, any day now. I think her actual like due date, they really don't have due dates. It's more like a due date period. <laughs> like they can go at 320 days and over a year. So in between that time period, she is pretty massive for a maiden. And um, question of the day, do you think it's a filly or a colt? So let me know below in the comments. I kind of already have an idea. I have names picked out for both sexes so it's not a big deal if it's either or I'd rather just have a healthy happy baby I kind of have an idea in my head what I think it is but you guys comment below and let me know what you guys think I'm probably going to eat something and go to bed and edit this video so I will talk to you guys later